wonderful first graders. Welcome to a new science lesson. Please get your Be a Scientist notebook ready and let's start. Let's open page 147. All right. Today's lesson is really fun because you get creative, you get to have fun, draw and come up with ideas. Some of them might be silly and funny, but I'm sure it's gonna be all related to the lesson. Before we start, let's uh, read together this uh, story or this book animals are living things animals are living things have you ever cared for an animal what did your animal need to live animals are living things like humans they need food water air and a safe place to live this lion meets its needs by drinking water Animals live in different kinds of places. Some animals live on land. Others live in water. A shelter is a place where animals can live and be safe. This owl finds shelter in a tree. The bear eats a fish for food. Animals have needs. Animals use their body parts in different ways. Their body parts help them get what they need to live. Some use their eyes and noses to find food. Eyes, ears, and noses also tell animals of danger. Legs, wings, and fins can help animals get away from danger. Wings help birds fly to find food. Their beaks help them to eat food. Strong legs help cougars move fast to get food. Sharp claws help them catch their food. Animals also have body parts that help them get air. Gills help fish breathe underwater. Lungs help other animals breathe air. Okay. So let's go back to our uh, page 147. And now we get uh, some some review about shelters and survive and body parts that help animals or plants to survive and to adapt also to the environment around them. All right. This activity, um, you're going to do some investigation. I will help you. I'll give you some hints and key keys, but, uh, and you know, some little details, but you will be coming up with the main ideas. So you will solve a human problem by mimicking a plant or animal part that helps the plant or the animal to survive. So you're gonna find the problem and then you're gonna see this problem and you're gonna find out a body part of a plant or of an animal that can help, that we can mimic or copy or do like the animal or like or use this part and benefit from it. Remember when we talked about the flies that have the wings, so people um, design the airplane with wings or the um, shells, the turtle shell, the heart that protect the, the turtle. So human um, design hat or helmet that protect them from, uh, from also danger if they are in, on site or working in, in mines or something. So they have to wear these hats. So this is things we get it from animals. We saw part of the animals that they have this, um, uh, this, uh, this part of the animals that help them to survive and we mimic it or we copy it and we use it um, for also our safety or for something else. So define a problem, tell what problem you want to solve. So first you have to decide what are you gonna talk about? So I'm gonna give you a clue, but the choice is yours and then you're going to continue and you can try to find you know um google and get some information about that so for example you can talk about uh, the giraffe that the giraffe have has long neck so let's say if i'm in a kitchen or i'm in my room and i want to grab something that i can't reach so what we do usually and let's say i don't have a ladder or anything to climb so you stretch your arm because you want to make yourself tall enough to reach uh, that thing that's far away from you or it's a little uh, higher than you. So what do we do? We stretch our arm trying to approach this. 
So you're gonna write first the problem. So you're gonna say, for example, um, I can, or I, um, how can I reach something that's high on a shelf without climbing on a ladder? So that's the problem. That's something high, I need to reach it. And you're gonna draw here, how did you solve this problem? So for example, you're gonna draw shelves with toys or books and a child or a boy or a girl stretch their arm up to be able to reach that shelf, okay? Let's say you choose something different. Let's say you are riding your bike or riding your scooter and you know that you need to protect your elbow or you need to protect your, uh, your knees. So this is the part you need to protect them. So over here, you're gonna choose, for example, the turtles. So you know that the turtle had the shelf. So you're gonna mimic this. You look at the turtle with the shelf that protect their body and you're gonna create something or design something. You're not designing, actually, you're drawing it as you use something to protect your elbows, which is same like what the turtle protect their body or something to protect your knee when you ride your bike or ride your scooter, okay? Over here, you're gonna draw, the, draw a picture of a plant or animal that uh, part that help you think of a solution. So let's say if you choose a giraffe because of the long neck and it give you idea that if you need to reach something high, you stretch your hands up or your arm up to get it. So you will draw the giraffe. And if you decide, for example, to use that turtle, uh, the shell, the hard part that of the turtle that protect the body to protect your elbow and knees when you ride your bike. So you're gonna draw the turtle uh, shell. Or you draw the whole, uh, you draw the turtle and just label that this is the turtle shell. So this is two choices I just gave to you, but you can come up with other things. You can talk about also, the, um, the plants, but over here they ask for the animal or the plant. So if you decided for plants, that means you have to do up here plants and also over here. So question, um, this part on, on, on page 147 and 148 related. So if you decided to go with the giraffe, you have to go all the way and continue and draw the giraffe. If you decide to go with the turtle and the shelf, you have to do the same, all right? So don't do both, you have to choose one. Okay, over here, tell how your solution is, um, is like the plant or animal part. So it depends on what you choose. If you chose, for example, the giraffe, so you're gonna write the long arm is like the giraffe's long neck. So it, help, it helps to uh, reach the high, uh, uh, to reach up high, like on my shelf or something. And if you chose the, turtle, the, the turtle shell, you can say also it protect my elbow and my knee when I ride my bicycle or when I ride my scooter or when I go ice skating. So it depends on what uh, body part of animals you choose, which animal you choose, you get to answer question number two. All right. All right. As I told you that it's really fun. Okay, let's go for, I'm gonna, oh, let me play this for you. It might help you, give you ideas. A turtle has a hard shell to protect its body. Like a turtle shell, a hard hat can be used to protect your head. An insect uses its wings to fly. Airplane wings allow a plane to fly, just like wings on a bird or insect. A bird's pointy beak allows it to reach its food. Like a bird's beak, pliers can also be used to grab things. So if you decide to get the turtle, this is, will help you probably to draw your turtle if you uh, need to do the turtle or otherwise you Google for a picture. All right, let's go for next page. Okay. Page 149. Okay, now we're gonna design new tool. 
you will construct a model of a device that's similar to a Venus flytrap. Now the, you want, now you have no choice. The, the previous activity, you choose what you like. This one, you need to uh, come up with a model of a device that is similar to a Venus flytrap. You remember the Venus flytrap that close on the fly to solve a human problem. So you need first to define the problem. What problem would you like your device to solve? So you might think of mosquitoes, for example, or yeah, some the mosquito bother me or even fly bother me. So you can say, um, I, wanna make, I want to make a mosquito catchers. So let's write this down. All right, so we decided to create a mosquito catcher. So I say, I want to make a mosquito catcher. All right, so catch mosquitoes so it won't bite me when I'm in a park or um, playing outside. Okay, I'll leave this for you to write it. Over here, design your solution. Make a model of your device. Tell how your device would work. So it's similar to the um, Venus uh, trap, the fly, Venus fly trap. So it's something similar to, but we said our problem is the mosquito, to catch mosquitoes. So you can say you will make a cloth that it looks like a Venus fly trap and it will trap the mosquitoes that nearby so they won't bite you or it's sticky if the mosquito come nearby it will stick on it and it won't bother you so this is could be a simple idea that you're gonna have like you know a trap with glue and it's gonna be sticky so if a mosquito come nearby it will stop and get stuck in it and it won't bite you and of course to attract the mosquito you might put some uh, smells or something to attract the mosquitoes all right over here you're gonna draw your device and then you're gonna label it i told you this activity this lesson is really fun so you're gonna do it you're gonna it depends how did you make it look like did you use the venus flytrap uh, look or you make something different and um, label your parts like you put here a stick or glue and then you show that the fly uh, or the mosquito is stuck uh, on that part and it's not bothering you because it can't fly over here describe how your devices mimics the venus flytrap we know that the venus flytrap closed when it sends the the fly it closed but yours it depends if you make it looks also like venus flytrap and it will close or if you make a sticky part that if a mosquito stand on it it won't it won't able to fly again so it's up to you how did you uh, decide to make it so you can say um, my device will attract or would attract mosquitoes and quickly close or trap them and or they'll stick uh, i'll put sticky um, glue or sugar or something and it will attract um, the mosquitoes and it will trap them and of course this how the venus also fly trap catches flies but um, venus flight uh, the venus fly trap close but yours uh, won't close for example yours the fly will um, um, stuck on it and trap and the device will trap them or if you want to do it like the Venus flytrap, that your device will also close if it attracts the uh, mosquitoes, it's up to you. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, last question or last page in 151 and go back to the very first uh, page of the lesson when we covered the essential question. How can plant and animal parts help us solve 
a human problem. Remember when we had the video and we didn't know what to ask, we were asking about what Venus, what, um, what this uh, Venus flytrap uh, eat, or um, how does it work, or does it eat any other thing or only flies? So from going back to this, we can, let me, Okay, so back to our page 151. We saw the video now. So what do you think we can answer this part now? Think about the video of the Venus flytrap at the beginning of the lesson. Use what well. you have learned to tell how plant and animal parts help us solve human problems. So we said we learned that people can make tools similar to plants and animals parts to help solve human problems right let's write this down so we learned that people can make tools that are similar to plants and animals parts to help solve human And then we have lots of examples when we saw the, the turtle shells or we talked about also the, 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 uh, the, the, the turtle shells that you can get, uh, can make a protection for your knees or elbow. Or also when we talked about the giraffe, that, that long neck, give you ideas to, um, draw a long arm or to create an, an, a device or a tool that you can extend it and get um, any, any, um, anything uh, from like on a shelf or something that you can reach. Okay. All right, first graders, that's it for today. Bye-bye.